Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about like some of the essential things in caring for your crayfishes. So uh, as you can see in my fish tank, my 75 gallon fish tank that I have for my crayfishes, uh, I do have other uh, fishes in there like guppies as you can see as well as I do have a ram, a couple of rams in here. Um, and I can't exactly s tell where, where it is. It's right there in that corner. But yeah, this is uh, actually a community tank and it does have, you know, a lot of hiding spaces as I explained in my previous videos. But today I'm going to talk about if these crayfishes need air in their water. So, um... Uh, it's very common for people to wonder if, you know, any of your crustaceans that you keep need air inside your water or um, how to supply proper amount of air in the water in the fish tank that you have for your shrimps, your crabs, and your crayfishes. Um, to be honest, you know, they don't necessarily require any air. Like, you don't have to, like, put a bubbler or air, air bubbler, like how I have it in my tank. As you can see, I have a sufficient amount of uh, air bubble coming out of out of my uh, air bubbling system that I have. But uh, not necessarily you need to provide them uh, such amount of air in your fish tank. Only because, um, you know, these guys don't necessarily live off of amount of water that's, amount of air that's in the water. However, it honestly does help uh, like for example if you look at my 20 gallon tank here uh, I've been keeping you know one of my best crayfishes in this tank but as you can see uh, my filter doesn't even make any like bubble uh, and I, I make sure that it doesn't make any noise and bubble in this tank and these guys are very healthy um, so uh, that actually proves that you don't need a separate air bubbler in your fish tank where you keep your crayfishes however uh, if you guys uh, do your research on these guys, you'll probably actually know that these guys can actually live above water and underwater, as you guys can see here. Um, there's a couple that climb up to like the surface level, but they actually never go uh, above the surface to breathe or anything like that. And I've actually tried to put them uh, outside of water, you know, for a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, but I personally don't think they enjoy it. Um, that is probably, I think, because uh, this is not exactly the species that enjoy being outside of the water. So uh, I think it honestly depends on the species of crayfish you keep. However, for me, I think it's best to just provide a space where my crayfishes would best enjoy staying in and living in uh, which is this kind of environment for example having enough hiding spaces as you see you know I have plenty of rocks plenty of hiding spaces over here as well as a main piece as you saw in my previous videos as well as a lot of tunnels and uh, fake plants back there so they can you know escape from other you know aggressive crayfishes but also at the same time I do have uh, two filters set up there which runs you know from time to time throughout the day which is essential filter is actually essential and I can do a separate video on filters but uh, today we're gonna talk about the air bubblers as you see so a couple of purposes when it comes to air bubbler and providing enough air is is um, just to provide uh, a space where they enjoy and they don't necessarily need to seek extra air which can be actually very um very tiring for these guys because they don't necessarily swim as you can see these guys actually walk around so they're not exactly swimmers um, so they can actually go up up to the surface to they cannot actually go up to the surface to retrieve any air uh, in this case I thought it'd be best to provide them with the air bubbler uh, where you know they supply you know this much amount of air which is actually really really good for these guys um, also this helps other fishes and other you know other creatures in this tank because you know they don't necessarily have to work too hard to obtain the oxygen uh, when they swim because I will I, I will be putting other species in here where um, some of these guys will have to you know live in a place where they have sufficient amount of oxygen in the water so uh, also another reason is because I like the aesthetic like 
how the air bubbles, you know, from down there and just, you know, goes in between the log and just, you know, goes up to the top, all that. Just the whole process to the whole look of it is actually very, you know, satisfying to me. So that's actually one of the main reasons. Only because, you know, these guys don't necessarily require uh, such amount of oxygen in their, in their fish tank. But, you know, uh, it's not a necessary thing to provide them oxygen as much as that I am doing. However, it is an absolute uh, help to these guys and it'll definitely not harm them. And it'll just make a, a very pleasant living space for these guys. So definitely consider if you have, if you have an option to. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions regarding keeping these guys in the best manner possible, leave it down in the comment section. I'll try my best to provide you guys with the best answer. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.